Hello everyone, welcome to Redline Die Cast Cars, your source for Redline Hot Wheels, Mattel's product, manufactured 1967, 68 through 1977. Uh, I buy Redlines. If you have any for sale, please contact me at electriccharge at me.com. My telephone number is 262-441. 3839. So the cars that I find, I keep some, but a lot of them I send to auction. I auction every Tuesday, most every Tuesday, on a Facebook site called Studio Dash Redline. Why don't you join us? I typically start at 7 p.m. Central and we sell all different authentic, sometimes restored, which I call out specifically. Redline Hot Wheels. I don't sell any Matchbox, Lesney, um, you know, Corgi, that kind of thing. I try to keep just to the original Redlines, 1968 through 1977. And oh baby, have we got a nice auction set up for next Tuesday, the 2nd of August on Studio Dash Redline starting at 7 p.m. Central. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice one. I've got a nice variety of cars that uh, showed up and uh, you'll have an opportunity to snag a couple of nice red lines. Yeah, no hoodnick on this Conti. How about that? Really nice tweener color. Some people call them Graquas. It is green, but it does have some tone some fade and some attributes of color that would indicate some sort of shade of aqua. Pretty cool, huh? I like it when they don't have the hood neck. And typically the reason for that is that the hood's still pretty stiff. It didn't go smashing against the cowl, so it has no neck. Yeah, a couple little spots in there, but not typically what you see with the Custom Continental 1969 manufactured by the Mattel Toy Company. Here's a gold Eldorado US, of course. You can see the shade of color a little bit different on the hood versus the rest of the car. What a sweet little gem. Gold is a really popular color. A lot of people like this for their rainbows. Their rainbows of various Hot Wheel colors, red line colors. Yep, sometimes they're a little bit toned up. Sometimes they're middle of the road. That Eldorado's got some tone on it, but it's got some real consistent color all the way through. Light My Firebird with original roundel and stripe on both sides. A little bit of missing tail paint in the back, but for the most part, it's there. Sweet little car here. That, um, that Pontiac Power is something else, isn't it? Nice red lines. Those are Hong Kong gems. You can tell that they're shiny chrome. There's your base. Light My Firebird. Another um, spoiler series is going to be a sugar caddy with some Hong Kong popping in the back. Glasses intact, thank goodness. Sugar caddy with some spotty little attributes of uh, Hong Kong fooey action there. Tone and gunmetal base. Original roundel. Original roundel. Sweet little car. In blue. Eh, tougher color. Not your normal every day, that's for sure. I'll swap out the cars as they're twirling around there for you. Uh, power pad in hot pink. Power pad. Hot pink. Sweet little gem. A nice one. Another little spoiler showed up in this collection a heavy Chevy in very dark toned red. This is a nice one. The original stripes. I can feel there's no gap in between. It's a one piece stripe. Original roundel. Nice Hong Kong shoes. Oh, this is a sweet car. Nice clean on the glass, too. That's a nice little spoiler right there. Yeah, that take that thing to the bank. 
It's going to be a nice little get for somebody. Hey, why don't you join us? You got a collection for sale? <laughs> little little plug for uh, looking for red lines. If you ever got anything, maybe you have a couple doubles or triples. Perhaps it's time to downsize. Maybe the cars are sitting in the basement in the attic in grandma's house. Maybe your brother or sister has them, and maybe you forgot all about them. I buy red lines. Yeah, check it out. Something I think would be worthy to uh, to look at if you don't play with them anymore and you'd like to put some extra cash in your pocket. This is a um, early run for J car. There's no peg stop. That'd be the early run version of this particular model. No stripes, no roundels, decent on the paint and the matted back paint on the, um, the rear. Sweet little original 16 action here. Only made in the US on this particular model. Ford J car in green. This uh, little gun slinger came in, plastic base. It's got the, um, the notch on the barrel of the gun that slides into and is positioned on the windshield. Olive, enamel, pretty clean. You gotta have a gun, buck, a gun uh, slinger in your collection, especially if you can find them with the with the uh, tampo still pretty darn clean. Yeah, they're tough to find clean because they were heavily played with. Mm -hmm. And then another 68 that came in on this particular collection is a awesome blue custom Corvette. Beautiful champagne interior. It is a US, of course. Look at the consistent blue on this little monster. Gunmetal and dark base. Let's see that engine. Oh, shiny and clean. What a sweet little model. Look at the vents in the front, the grill. They're nice. Custom Corvette. And then the 1969, a year later, Mattel came out with another custom, and that would be the custom charger. This one is, I'm going to say it's lime. I'm thinking yellow, maybe. I'll do a color comparison to see. Let's see what's here. Let's see. You see a difference on there? Maybe. I'm thinking yellow. I'm thinking yellow here as I'm comparing that hood along with a U.S. Mighty Maverick. Thinking. Well, that's the cool part about the collecting of red lines is the uh, the colors I mentioned before about the rainbows. You know, when you have the ability to get different colors of a casting and uh, it's always fun to get the whole spectrum. And even that alone is very difficult. Why do I say that? Well, after 50 some years of the toys being in circulation and being played with and sitting in different environmental conditions, the car will have some interaction of the spectra flame, especially the spectra flame, not so much the enamels, on the, um, on the final, which you see. Right, the color. You know, this car's got deep dish bubble gums on the front. That's really weird. Oh, I just noticed that. Deep dish bubble gums on the front. What the heck? How interesting is that? U.S. little little bug there. A U.S. little bug. I like that. And then um, a, a regular 1968 custom Firebird. Nice bird here. If the bird man is watching, hello, bird man. Glad you could join in. A little Hong Kong action here. A sweet little car. No nick. The hood want to open up for us. Live and in person. It's being reluctant to open up. I'll get it open. We'll take a couple pictures of that one. Custom Firebird. Hong Kong Red. All right, oh, this is a nice color. Brown splitting image with white interior. 
nice little buggy here. Brown's a nice color. It's fun to collect. I know people, uh, several of my guests, I call them guests. Some people call them customers. I call them guests. They, um, they collect brown. It's a fun, unusual, not as prevalent color that Mattel made. And uh, brown is a fun, fun casting color to chase, no matter what casting it is. Here's that hood I had up before. I'm thinking yellow. Wow, this thing is bright and shiny. Whoa. Yeah, baby. It's a nice car. Hong Kong. No tail light. Isn't it be in the back? Probably worn off over time. Tabs are still in place on the hood that pulls out. By the way, the hood, when you pull it out completely, you have to kind of jump over the glass. You jump over the glass in order to pull the hood out as far as you can. It's as far as I'm going to go on camera, but during the auction, I'll pull that out. It actually pulls out all the way past the glass on the hood design. Get him in there. Wow, that's a nice car. Hey, speaking of nice cars, I'm partial to this little casting right here, this little model, the AMX, custom AMX and Aqua. Sweet little fun action here whoa no hood nick either wow nice tough to find it without the hood nick nice tail light package sweet white interior of course they all had and they're only made in the u.s custom amx baby that's a nice car I'm going to save this one for the end. I think that's a good one right there. This one right here. I'm going to tease you for a little bit before I put the final couple ones up here. <laughs> How about a classic Woody in purple? A little late run action there. There's your fingerprint or textured roof. It is a D as in dog casting, meaning it came a little bit later in the story, 1969. Yeah, whole story with this particular casting, not this particular car, but the casting itself. I know people, some of my guests that collect just the Woodies. There's such a fun casting to have in your collection because there's so many different varieties, colors, casting um, types. Again, this is a D. There are different types out there. Uh, here's that yellow Mav, the U.S. Maverick. A beautiful car. Original wing. Oh, yeah. That is all one piece, by the way. The wing, the interior plastic that you see, you know, the seats and stuff. When it's assembled at the factory, this is all one piece. How do I know that? Before I started selling red lines on the live auctions on Facebook site called Studio Dash Redline... I took apart the cars. I did some, I don't know, I guess some due diligence and understanding the models and how they were assembled by the Mattel Toy Company. So I would take the rivets out. I would drill the rivets as an example on this T for two. There are the rivets right there where my thumbs are. And take the car and do the reverse engineering. Find out and understand how Mattel did the craftsmanship, how they did the magic on these particular castings and that way it kind of gave me an insight not everything because red lines uh, are endless as far as your ability to grasp all the different combinations of colors castings dates prototypes it just goes on and on so the reason i'm saying that is it helps me to understand how to bring the value to you if I see something, I spot something, and I'm always learning. In fact, some of my guests will private message me or they'll tell me, they'll send me an email and they'll, they'll show me or tell me about something I didn't know or I missed spoke about a particular casting. Look at this AMX2. Oh, baby, that's a nice dark rose. Wow, what a sweet car. This is also a casting that many of my guests really enjoy collecting. The Cust or the AMX2. I have two more for you. I'm going to run a heavyweight ambulance in green. Check it out. Red Cross. 
Red Cross, no Red Cross. Yep, you find those with this casting, it happens. The, uh, the manufacturing process, they just didn't paint it. They just didn't paint it. So here is going to be an opportunity for somebody to get a really nice green little beauty here. Look at that white interior. Glass is really nice. I always look at the dome. Nice and clean for you. Not all scraped up. Yep, it didn't slide across the floor <laughs> upside down when it, when it ran off the track. Okay, so our last card here is going to be something I really, when I got this collection in, I was like, whoa, I love the condition of this. Mustang Stalker. Yes, sirree. Purple stripe. Orange. Look at the insignias there. Look how clean that is. Ford. 450 HP. What a gorgeous chrome finish, too. Sometimes it's corroded. Not, not meaning from like a sizzler, but, you know, the corrosion over time on the finish, you'll see that. This one is very, very sharp. Just a beauty Mustang stock of the Flying Colors era. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching the video. To give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe and share. I'll be posting the contents of this particular auction, which is going to be August 2nd, this coming Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central on Studio Dash Redline. Do join us. Stop by. And if you have a Redline collection or cars that you'd like to unload, you want to move on, I'm always looking to buy collections. Hit me up. Bye, everybody.